opportunity to catch up. So I thought we'd take that opportunity today and talk about China. Since Mike Pence came out yesterday with a speech that was pretty profound, I thought, about China. Now, if you look in the link in the description box in the YouTube section, you're going to go to that video and some other supplemental materials that Thomas might speak about in the audio. So just floors open. Tell us all about China. Well, you're right, Betsy. These new articles are just astounding. And what Pence has just stated at the Hudson Institute was his greatest speech ever. And he declared war openly upon China for the president with the president's words and then gave many examples that I have never, ever seen put together anywhere like that except in our broadcasts. We are the only people who have enumerated the very things that were enumerated in this in that China has been given away, excuse me, America has been given away to China through the connections of companies like Lenovo. Look closely. Lenovo is IBM. It's corporate attempts to take over China's market that in the end, the internationalism, the globalism that is driving people like Eric Schmidt and driving Facebook and their Dragonfly project. It, the Google Dragonfly project is already in, in operation. That's the only thing incorrect in what Pence said. And it's already in operation with a absolute furor because, as he pointed out in his speech, thank you, Vice President Pence, that a million uh, Uyghur Muslims, you know, were basically, through facial recognition, they saw that they weren't true communists, Chinese communists. Put a million of them into brainwashing, retraining, re-education. Half of them died, and the ones who came out said that it was the worst thing ever. And then a lot of them died, about 25% of them died afterwards because of what they had gone through. That is Eric Schmidt's experiment on whether he can, through digital control, reprogram people with brainwashing. But what happens? It kills them. He killed half of them. That's what they do in China. Now, we can go into, we'll go into many more details in a moment. Yeah, I know, because I just want to do a little Betsyism here and just like encapsulate it so pe folks know where we're going. You see, he's calling out China as an enemy of the United States. And this is really important because guess where Hillary Clinton and all of her entourage are running right now? I mean, look at that company Axiom in Little Rock, Arkansas, moving all their assets over to China. So if you go ahead and name China the enemy of the United States and all of these criminal swamp things like Eric Schmidt, Hillary Clinton, all this are moving to China, what does that make them then? Enemies of America. Because we are at war. And, Ch and already Trump has written executive orders to say that he's going after any of these people. There was a recent one saying that anybody who meddles in our election and anybody who associates with them is going to be our enemy. He recently called out China as our enemy because they are taking out fake articles and writing these articles and carefully placing them strategically for political purposes to go against Republicans, specifically counties that went big for Trump in the last election. So how do you think they have that information? We'll go to, into that in just a minute. But we are at a, in a war. Trump called them out recently twice, and he pointed out in the Des Moines uh, paper uh, these articles so that you could go look at them. They look as if they're real. They're not, folks. This is Chinese manipulation of our election. And it was going on before, too. And guess who China was for in the last election, folks? Hillary Clinton. But Why? She's on the board of Walmart, which basically Bill Clinton gave China the ability to get into the World Trade Organization, gave them most favored nation trading status when they were killing 20 million Tibetans at war with Taiwan and anyone else who gets in their way. And if you look at the totalitarian regime in China, just look at their business plan. It's called One Belt, One Road. In other words, it's one world of totalitarianism that they control. They're very clear about their desire for hegemony. Well, then what about Dianne Feinstein and her Chinese spy connections? She is a spy, and now we know that she's been a spy for China for 20 years. And also, when we say that courtesy copies of every one of the 380,000, 780,000 Hillary emails went to China. That's a known fact, but we're going to tell you in a minute how that happens. But we're going to stay on this 
war with China for a minute. We're the only ones until now that stated that we're in a war with China. In everything we stated, the meddling in this election, the meddling in the prior election, the lies that got them into the World Trade Organization, the payoff to Hillary Clinton, to Bill Clinton, James Breyer, who went over there, who's basically become Chinese, uh, Eric Schmidt, who just spent the last, what, six months over there making sure the dragonfly got put into place and that facial recognition would be able to control anyone who does anything in America. As a matter of fact, he brags about what he just did. And in writing, it is stated that he has said that this system will bring open freedom to those who receive a high credit score, social or cultural or social credit score. And for those who don't, they won't be able to take a step. In other words, complete digital lockdown if you do not comply. And if you do not comply, you go to a re-education camp where they're experimenting with all of the digital experimentation that China's been doing for a long time. You remember, China is the one who introduced video games that caused children to go into seizures. Well, it was just going a little bit too fast. They wanted to just hypnotize everyone so they would become addicted to them. Well, that's exactly what's happened. Now, we can go into the technology part now. Well, let's get also into the theft of intellectual property. And not only as it applies to China, but just how American entrepreneurs and innovators are totally getting ripped off by the Chinese as well as the U.S. Patent Office. We are not only in a war for cyber dominion, but we're in a war for intellectual property dominion, trade secrets. China absorbs them by being the country that puts together the parts. But having one part, you have to know everything about the whole machine. And remember, what is it? Something like uh, 80, 85% of our uh, televisions, or for our cell phones come from China, 75% of our uh, televisions. Those are listening devices that they already have a new microchip on. Now, they created a company in America, and this has come to everyone's attention, but we've pointed this out for a long time. But I'll give you the new version. There's new articles that tell about a company called Elemental, and they get their microchips from a company called Supermicro Computers Incorporated. Well, they traced it back, and they now find out that every one of those chips that they use, which are in everything from military to corporate to banking, you name it, has a spy chip on it. And that spy chip is smaller than a grain of rice. And in it is what we call, and has been called when it was discovered with Intel microprocessing chips, they call it the ME, the mechanical engine. So any computer with an Intel microprocessing chip has a mechanical engine on it that can take over everything on your computer and run it, no matter what your passwords or your crypto gear is. It does not matter. This is hardware inside, and it's a default hardware. So if nothing else works, it will work. Even when your computer doesn't work for you, be assured that the Israelis who build these Intel microprocessing chips with the mechanical engine on them can get in your computer and still work it. Is this the Talpiot project or is that something different? Uh, the Talpiot are tech startup companies that work with this and basically weaponize it, yes. But they are literally Intel microchips are built in Israel. So wait a minute, before you go too far, and I'll let you answer this, but is there a relationship to China and to Israel? Well, yes, we're at war with both of them. We don't we know we're at war in our intelligence realm with Israel, but we are. And with China, we're at war on all levels. And now it's obvious even in the military level. But we had been at war with them uh, throughout the entire time uh, that the election was going on. Because why? They were afraid that Hillary Clinton was not going to make it into the White House. Are you talking about the Chinese or the, the Chinese. Israelis? Okay. Oh, and the Israelis too. Uh, but <clears throat> you see, Hillary was going to do what the Israelis want, which was drop the big bomb on Damascus so that the War of Armageddon can get the um, Muslims, the Christians, and the Jews going on what they think is their hegemony. So China has the same thing, world dominance, world control. And they're very plain about it. One belt, one road, one way, Chinese communist totalitarianism. And they have perfected the digital realm 
So much so because they get to experiment on their people and nobody cares because they have the worst human rights record of any country in the world. We should not be doing any trade deals with them, period. As soon as we get down to zero tariffs and real trade, and we stop their uh, debt manipulation of all the countries, including us, and we stop their buying of Hollywood so that they can control... The propaganda media. Thank you very much. They have to control the narrative. All bankers and brokers have to control the narrative. That's why Reuters was bought by who? The Rothschilds. The bankers bought Reuters and Reuters Thompson and the Associated Press. And basically, they still own them through their proxies. So what we're talking about is China is trying to catch up and go beyond us as fast as possible. And people like Henry Kissinger and the Council on Foreign Relations, they had all sold out America and uh, the TPP was going to be the end of America and the, the rise of China. Henry Kissinger has already gone and begged Trump to please get on board with China. I'll give you as much money a- as you possibly want. It doesn't matter. I can set you up with one deal where you, you have literally trillions for your family after this. Because why? They have so many people in China. And because they're willing to spend it in totalitarian ways. But what has happened in the speech with Sp- Pence, he mentioned that, of course, their stock market, when they tried to get into it, was fake. And now it's lost 25%. Why? Because we simply manipulated it. And then they tried to get into a gold-backed yuan and manipulate the World Trade Organization through the International Monetary Fund with fake gold back. It was fake. 8,000 tons of fake gold created in Shanghai, the, the source of where we are receiving most of our cyber warfare attacks, the place that Hillary is taking Axiom. The place where, where where the employee shareholders will have to go over to Shanghai to cash out their four hundred one ks if they had it invested in Axiom, is that correct? I don't. I think that it would probably apply there because if you buy or sell gold in the Shanghai Gold District, you have to these stay are, there. These and, are employees at Axiom who mm-hmm. have just found out that they they are being relocated or their company is being relocated to Shanghai. Oh, well. And they own stock in their company. You know, employees, they tend to do that. When you're in the Shanghai Economic District, you are under different regulations. Every Chinese person in the Shanghai District gets a 17% discount on anything that they do, especially gold. It is the most corrupt place on the earth. Shanghai, getting Shanghai. If anything goes or comes from Shanghai, it is corrupt. If anything goes or comes from China, it is corrupt. It is totalitarian communism. It has only one goal, complete and absolute domination of everyone in the world. And they believe this is their divine right, and this is what they preach. And if you look at what they've done, they've already, in Eric Schmidt's first experiment, killed, well, actually, they killed three-quarters of a million people. These were the Muslims that they put in these yes. re-education camps. Yes, that's Dragonfly. Yeah, because they were able to nab them because of their facial recognition and things that they were, you know, communicating through social media. So that's the point. They use social media now. Uh-huh. If you use the wrong social media, if you use the Facebook app of social media, which the Facebook people all came out and complained about because it's basically totalitarian control. It was already weaponized psyops control of everyone on Facebook, but now this was literally killing people. Literally picked up and killed because why you were using WhatsApp, a Facebook social media app. So, and they could tell you're using WhatsApp by facial recognition. They can determine whether you're a criminal or not. If you're on the streets in China, you are under surveillance and your face is being looked at. And if you look like you are about to think about a crime. You literally get pulled over on the street. They take your phone. They see if you've been on social networking, and then you disappear. So basically, Eric Schmidt is using the Chinese market to test his newest invention. Yes, because... And then he'll roll it out here into the United States along with gal pal Hillary. Correct. And he doesn't have to build a robot army, though he is building a robot army. He's building a totalitarian communist complete digital control of anyone who comes near these electronic digital dopamine addiction machines. And that's anybody in the world using these devices. So our friends in Europe, you're just as much, you know, a target as we are here in America. 
it got out of control, as we said, with the internet. And then it got out of control with all the new upgrades and devices and applications. Now no one's in control, but China knows they want to be in control. So they have James Breyer, the guy who stole the IBM Eclipse Foundation trade secrets from Leaders Technology in Ohio and took it to China and just put it on communist steroids. And so James Breyer's still over there. Eric Schmidt barely got out alive. I hope he understands that, Eric Schmidt. You barely got out alive. You won't get out alive the next time you go there because you know the trade secrets and people who know Chinese totalitarian communist trade secrets disappear. Well, it doesn't sound like Eric will have much of a future here in the United States when we start rounding up the traitors and enemies of the United States. Oh, yes. Now, let's just go back to this uh, company, Elemental, and another the other company. That super S- microcomputers? S- yes. They made these chips just like Intel makes the chips, and they put this little, what you can call a mechanical engine, but it's really a microchip on a microchip, and it's so small that it's in everything, folks. Do you realize that the 10 biggest competitors for cell phones, televisions, and, and basically your digital world, your computers are really being taken over within the last two years by Chinese companies? Do you understand that Lenovo was IBM going to China a long time ago and giving them their laptop technology so they could build the microchips that would then go into everything? IBM sold out America, international business machines. They are not America business machines. They are international globalists. Those chips when they were built, then got into our military, into our planes, into our ships, into our guide. Remember when I told everyone that the wrecks with the ships lately were the Chinese chips that were in the the control devices of those ships? And these are different than the QRS-11 chips. Quite. These are the back doors of China. I told you, look around any one of those accidents, and what are you going to notice? There's a Chinese ship sitting there observing, surveilling what's going on. Why? They were experimenting with it and they had to had to actually have real accidents to show that there are no fail-safes to their mechanical engine that's on their microchips that were in Navy equipment, Department of Defense equipment, uh, Air Force equipment. So Trump came to power. One of the very first things he said, and I said from the beginning, thank the Lord, someone has come to power who is not on China's side, who's in the White House, who said... I'm taking all your stupid Chinese chips out of all of our military immediately. And then they went after a number of programs that had been put on so many Department of Defense computers that we were 100% compromised, we were being 100% surveilled, and could have been 100% targeted and controlled if the Chinese wanted to. Well, was that in any way related to these observatories closing down worldwide? Probably. As we said, when they made the excuse that they need to do software update. Well, that was true. Chinese chips in anything means they control it completely. So while you think you've gone away from your computer, it's still working. Okay. It's working while you're on it. It's doing what they tell it to do. Now, the Lenovo... Well, what does a consumer do? The Lenovo computers, Trump said, get them out of America. If you, if you remember, Trump went over there and did mega hundreds of billions of dollars worth of deals The Chinese reneged on every one of them. But one of the things that was not reneged upon was that he said, we're not taking any more Lenovo until you use our chips. We're not taking your ZTE phones until you take your mechanical engine chips out and put in American chips. We are taking all of your chips out of everything military, everything to do with American government. Does this mean that the military literally had to go into all their devices and take these things out over that the last correct. two years? That is correct. That's why he has to rebuild the military because it has been so infused that even the controls for sending our ICBMs being launched are controlled by Chinese chips. Now, how did that happen? Because the manufacturing may happen in one country and then it's sent to China for assembly, but to get it, they demand to have the intellectual property. They demand to have what they need to build these things. So there is nothing that is kept from them. But these globalist companies, they don't mind giving them that technology or those trade secrets because their ultimate goal is total domination over the world. Absolutely. And they're the first ones over there in China thinking they're going to make yeah. billions, And China trillions. is their leverage 
place to launch their attack on the rest of the world. Yes. Now, all of this sounds very, very uh, ominous, doesn't it? It sounds like we can't get the Chinese out of America. Wrong. This is a declaration of war by Vice President Pence for President Trump. He's already written an executive order that declared war upon these people for this exact thing. And he's basically saying, Congress, House and Senate, back off. You're a bunch of idiots. This isn't about a trade deal. We are about to be taken over by the Chinese. Had Hillary come to power, the Chinese would have taken over our military. Yes, but that's but you've got people like Diane Feinstein doing the will of the Chinese, and this is why it's very important to get to those midterms, folks. You know what I'm going to say, and vote as that straight GOP ticket, so we can start getting rid of these demon rats. Absolutely. Now you pointed out that someone had said, well, why do I harp on the British being so bad, then all of a sudden jump over the Chinese? Are they connected? The British, they're our old enemy. They have burrowed in, and the Chinese are trying to do the same thing. They're our new enemy. Because Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton gave away all of our technology, all of our manufacturing, all of our military secrets. That's why China has everything we have. Everything, all of our blueprints have all been stolen. Everything, folks. Everything. There is nothing that China did not have. Okay, but when you say that, then I go, how in the world do we ever get this ship righted? Easy. Don't go to 5G satellites and cut their cables off. That's it. We have to cut China out. Okay, then why? Now, tell us why, because I have a lot of folks writing in going, what is going on with Trump and the 5G that he's putting it under government control? Uh, Well, wait a second. The Qualcomm, Broadcom uh, merge to do for the 5G to put ground-based 5G everywhere was one second away. Trump went in and kicked their butt and said, no, you're not going to do this because it's Chinese. Don't try to lie to me saying these are American companies. They're not. And so he stopped them, didn't he? And then what happened? Then Elon Musk, the fake Elon Musk, and then Eric Schmidt, the lord of Alphabet, and others, uh, including Jeff Bezos, are all racing to put the satellites into space to beam 5G down. Well, it won't work until it's comprehensive, which means there'll have to be thousands and thousands of these things. And by the way, I want to go back to something I said before. Which I never clarified. If you were paying attention before I told you China China has already launched hundreds of cube robots that attack our satellites and our space stations, drill holes in them to disable them. Well, it's already happened to the International Space Station and they have the pictures and it's exactly as what we said. We've already been attacked. That's why we have to have uh, a space, space force. force. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why we have to see that in everything, industrial espionage, China is at war with us. Militarily, they're at war with us. They're, they're taking, they killed 20 million Tibetans, won't even admit it, took over Tibet. They're going to simply take over Taiwan any minute. You can't even say Taiwan is an entity. You have to say Taiwan is a province of China, which it is not. It is a separate country, and we defend them, and we have treaties with them. China basically attacks anyone who doesn't say that Taiwan is a province of China and that China owns Taiwan, which it doesn't. We are dealing with crazy, crazy psychopaths. The entire Central Committee of the totalitarian Chinese communist most evil government ever created in history we are at war with, and they want to act like they are our friends, and they're doing us a favor to manufacture everything for us. That was for Bill and Hillary Clinton, folks. And it still goes today because Hillary just moved Axiom to Shanghai, exactly as Betsy pointed out. And again, the reason that Axiom is so important on our hit list is because what they do. Which is, uh, which I should point out. Hillary through Axiom, which was um, before that AMS, which was before that Intrust, which was before that um, Toma Bravo, which was before that uh, Nortel, which was a monopoly of Canada, which moved into our country and took over, putting a tax on every crypto recognition that happens on the internet, which is every single one of them. 
So she had that, but she also had the technology, which we told you about, that was with the Cisco routers. And now it is these routers from this company called Super Micro Computers. They have these routers, and the routers have these Chinese chips in them, the tiny, tiny chips. So now they found out, oh, these routers are in everything in America. They're throughout the entire Pentagon Department of Defense, everywhere, 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 everywhere. And so now what they thought they had gotten out with the previous chips and with the previous programs and with the previous... Le, uh, Lenovo computers and ZTE phones and Huawei phones and all their phones. There's 10 different ones. They're taking over the market. They all had the chip in it. So Trump stood up to them and said, get out. Now they found out there's still these routers. Well, we told you that Cisco had the back door of, the, of these, this exact same thing in all routers and had the entire monopoly of it up until just a few years ago. So when they opened the market, of course, American-based companies, which are really Chinese, became the big competition. Now they have it, and then they find, oh, surprise, surprise, the Chinese routers have a backdoor in it that can take over the, uh, the computer, can take over everything. They can plant things. They can take things out. They control everything. They are what are called those little bots. When they say there are interceptor bots, these are like that, but worse. They're not even interceptor bots. They were placed there to begin with. They were built into the machine. It is hardware. So there is software that has the security backdoors in it, zero day programs, off switches. There's hardware, some of it from uh, the Israelis through Intel, some of us through us through Intel, some of it through China, through this one company, but there's many companies. That's just one. Super micro computers, tip of the iceberg, folks. China gets whatever China wants in this country. And they always had two of the worst companies always backing them up who would blame it on North Korea or, or Syria or Iran or someplace else, Russia. Oh, love to blame it on the Russians, just like the new three people who are the GRU Russians who were part of the Russian hacking of the election in 2016 who we can't prosecute, but Robert Mueller, you know, wants to put another feather, three more feathers in his hat. No, 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 no. The Chinese had 100% control of everything at the DNC server. In Hillary's emails, Podesta, they have control of everything. There isn't such a thing in 2016 that wasn't being surveilled until Trump came to power. That was the way they had control. They were buying all of Hollywood. They were buying every piece of land in America. They were buying everything in America. With what? Money they got by being our manufacturing country, which took over our previous manufacturing company, country, Taiwan. Well, wouldn't it really be um, a weapon, so to speak, if we just dropped the Federal Reserve note? I mean, wow, yes. that would re like be a financial bomb landing right in the middle of China. Correct. We could collapse just collapse China. their economy totally with one because move. they accepted these fake phony dollars that we use that we kind of pretend are real but they really aren't they're just printed paper by the federal reserve so if trump closes the federal reserve that is huge for china china bought america with chinese debt exactly as you just pointed out yes. fake fiat currency u.s federal reserve ha, ha, dollars ha. jokes on you china you and we did this to japan gold. you and asked for petrodollars. We've done it to every country that messes with us. And I mean, they're so stupid. They're just entering into capitalism and they think they can bring totalitarianism into capitalism because they look at America, they go, well, look at the robber barons. Well, we're just sitting on the Central Committee and we're all going to be robber barons, which has been found out, by the way, President Chi. You better watch out because there could be another revolution there because we found out that your whole Central Committee or all the oligarchs paid off by James Breyer, by Eric Schmidt, by Google, by Alphabet, by all of the tech companies that went in early, got the control, and you guys are the oligarchs that get the kickbacks from that. And you know it's the totalitarian system that keeps you in place because you learn from America, control the media. Yeah, but what they didn't learn is for every debtor is a creditor. <laughs> That's exactly it. And they are only 45% self-sufficient. They can't exist without the mm -hmm. rest of the world. That's the reason they have to have the one belt, one road, which means... Our way or the highway. Precisely. You bring it to us because we don't have it. We're going to manufacture it. We're going to jack up the price. We're going to put in our little microchips. And we're going to surveil you and control your economy from a distance. And we're going to mess with your elections. This is a, this is a direct attack on our elections 
Trump just got through saying he's going to go after those people. So there may be a tariff war going on right now, but I guarantee you that after Vice President Pence's statement that there are new sanctions that no one knows about that the U.S. Treasury and the Office of Intelligence Analysis and the U.S. Marshals on China that no one's going to hear a thing about that is going to bring China to its knees. Mark my words, in a matter of a very short period of time, China's going to change its tune. And when it does, you're going to see Trump gets what he wants what he wants in this these trade deals and you're going to see president chi perhaps even be replaced because all of the lies that he told everyone that is ingrained in every single chinese mind because of the way that they manipulate through subliminal control of every speck of their media to make it agree with communism and the central committee they're going to find out that everything he said was a lie a little funny story I had a foreign exchange student. His his name was Xiao Ma. Hey, Xiao Ma, if you're listening, and uh, he was getting he was from China. He was getting a little homesick. I said, "Oh, come with me. I'll brighten you up your day." And so I took him to the Target, and I said, "Just turn over anything and see where it's made." And so he go, "Oh, made in China, made in China, made in China." It was his first lesson to understand that everything in China comes to us. That's right. And if we don't take it, they collapse. Remember when Trump came to power? There were no ships at all in the ocean bringing any goods to us from China, not one. Complete standstill. They almost collapsed. They lost 25% of their volume of their stock market. They took the richest people who had made money in the stock market, killed all of them, and absorbed that money back into the stock market, or it, wouldn't have, it would have been a, probably a 75% collapse. They try, you know, Everything China does, folks, is being checked by the Trump administration, and they're not going to get away with any of it, and we're not going to go to war with them. The last thing they would want is to war with 